डियर व्यूअर्स दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम सी टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टू डेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फैक्टरिंग रेगुलेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज द पार्लियामेंट हैज पास द फैक्टरिंग रेगुलेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विच इज एन अमेंडेड वर्जन ऑफ द फैक्टरिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट ट्वेंटी इलेवन The new law is expected to improve the availability of credit to micro, small and medium scale enterprises that is MSMEs since more non-banking financial companies or NBFCs will now be eligible to offer factoring services to MSMEs. The bill seeks to amend the Factoring Regulation Act 2011 to widen the scope of entities that can engage in the factoring business now let's have a look at some important terms related to it factoring business under the factoring regulation act 2011 factoring business is a business where an entity referred to as factor example bank acquires the receivables of another entity referred as assigner for an amount receivables It is the total amount that is owed or yet to be paid by the customers referred to as the debtors to the assigner for the use of any goods services or facility factor a bank a registered non banking financial company or any company registered under the companies act note that credit facilities provided by a bank against the security of receivables are not considered factoring businesses now moving on to some important provisions of the bill point to be noted here is that act means factoring regulation act 2011 and bill means factoring regulation amendment bill 2020 so the first provision is change in the definition of receivables the act defines receivables as all or part of or undivided interest in the monetary sum which is the right of a person under a contract this right may be existing arise in the future or contingent arising from the use of any service facility or otherwise the bill amends the definition of receivables to mean any money owned by a debtor to the assigner for toll or for the use of any facility or services Secondly change in the definition of assignment the act defines assignment to mean transfer by agreement of the undivided interest of any assigner in any receivable due from the debtor in favor of the factor the bill amends the definition to add that such a transfer can be in whole or in part of the undivided interest in the receivable dues Next is change in the definition of factoring business. The act defines a factoring business to mean the business of one acquisition of receivables of an assigner by accepting assignment of such receivables or two financing against the security interest of any receivables through loans or advances. The bill amends this to define factoring business as the acquisition of receivables of an assigner by assignment for a consideration. The acquisition should be for the purpose of collection of the receivables or for financing against such assignment. Registration of factors. Under the act, no company can engage in factoring business without registering with the Reserve Bank of India that is RBI. For a non-banking financial company that is NBFC to engage in a factoring business its number 1 financial assets in the factoring business and number 2 income from the factoring business should both be more than 50% of the gross assets or net income or more than a threshold as notified by the RBI the bill removes this threshold for NBFCs to engage in the factoring business Now moving on to registration of transactions under the act factors are required to register the details of every transaction of assignment of receivables in their favor these details should be recorded with the central registry set up under the securitization and reconstruction of financial assets 
एंड एनफोर्समेंट ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इंटरेस्ट दैट इज सार्फेसी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड टू विद इन अ पीरियड ऑफ थर्टी डेज इफ दे फेल टू डू सो द कंपनी एंड ईच ऑफिसर फेलिंग टू कंप्लाई मे बी पनिश्ड विद अ फाइन ऑफ अप टू फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज पर डे टिल द डिफॉल्ट कंटिन्यूज द बिल रिमूव द थर्टी डे टाइम पीरियड इट स्टेट्स दैट द टाइम पीरियड मैनर ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड पेमेंट फी फॉर लेट रजिस्ट्रेशन मे बी स्पेसिफाइड बाय द रेगुलेशन लास्टली आर बी आई टू मेक रेगुलेशन द बिल एम्पावर्स आर बी आई टू मेक रेगुलेशन फॉर वन द मैनर ऑफ ग्रांटिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन सर्टिफिकेट्स टू अ फैक्टर टू द मैनर ऑफ फाइलिंग ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन डिटेल्स विद द सेंट्रल रजिस्ट्री फॉर ट्रांजेक्शन डन थ्रू द टी आर ई डी एस एंड थ्री एनी अदर मैटर एज रिक्वायर्ड ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स डिस्काउंटिंग सिस्टम दैट इज ट्रेड्स इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर फैसिलिटेटिंग फाइनेंसिंग ऑफ ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स ऑफ माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस Now let's move on to the question for today. Consider the following statements. One, receivables is the total amount that is owed or yet to be paid by the customers to the factors for the use of any goods, services or facility. Two, the main objective of the Factoring Regulation Amendment Bill 2020 is to improve the availability of credit to MSMEs since more NBFCs will now be eligible to offer factoring services to msmes which of the above statement or statements is or are incorrect a one only b two only c both one and two or d neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section dear viewers watch this topic in hindi on our drishti is hindi youtube channel 